Now at five, the search for the brazen burglar seen on video smashing a car into a smoke shop in Connecticut. You can see that car fully inside the store in Fairfield before the thieves clean the place out. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres spoke with the store manager. He's live at the scene. Joe. Sandra, here's the smoke shop there. You see the boarded up front entrance. The business is open today after what happened just yesterday. You know, the thieves here, they put in a major effort for what ultimately in the end turned out to be a minor payoff. Open for business today at the Mohegan Smoke Shop in Fairfield. That's good news considering what happened during the early morning hours on Sunday. About 3.20 a.m., a silver vehicle backed through the gated storefront of the business on Tunxis Hill Cutoff. Fairfield police would not release the remaining video that recorded two men as they hopped out of the car, grabbed the cash drawer along with some vaping products, and then took off. And how much money did they steal? They didn't get much cash, you know? Yeah, they didn't take true. anything. Like any business does, we there was the money drop at the end of the night, yeah. and um, they took off with probably around $30 in coins. Mm -hmm. Police ultimately found the getaway car unoccupied, Today, boards cover up the smoke shop's front entrance. Next door, a worker at the liquor store told us he's anxious about what happened and hopes his business is not targeted as well. The manager at the nearby soccer shop actually saw all the commotion Sunday morning when he got to work. First thought something might have pipe might have broken down because I saw some lights hanging down from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Then I spoke to one of the guys who were cleaning in there and they told me that pretty much they got robbed and that this wasn't the first time either. Mm -hmm. So it's like about the second, third time this might have happened with them. Back at the smoke shop, Stefan Sampson told us insurance will hopefully cover the cost of repairs to the front door and ceiling. Detectives, meantime, continue their investigation, which includes an examination of what these cameras captured. They're located in the smoke shop's parking lot. I was informed in the morning time through a customer. Um, he had called me informing that the store was broken into saying his girlfriend's car actually got stolen the same night. So I'm assuming a string of events occurred that led to this moment. Now here are those parking lot cameras we mentioned and talked about just moments ago. We just got off the phone a few minutes ago with the Fairfield Police Department. They would not specify for us exactly what, if anything, those cameras captured. The store is right over there. But at the same time, they assured us, Joe, we're looking at all the video, don't worry, in an effort to track down these two suspects.